what up crusader gang on today's video we're working on the machines um, right now uh, these forks that come out that we put the tire the rim and tire on um, they were crooked and wobbling so we uh, readjusted them cleaned it off lubed them up so this one's all good so on these they usually you're supposed to switch them. This one has four to five to six lug. Uh, four and eight lug are the same. Um, I got a couple of these because we go through them so much. So we actually have three. So I have one for five lug here. And this one I'm working on right now is six lug. I just cleaned it up, uh, lubed it up inside there, and we're straightening out these because these bend here. We also have the four lug, four lug, it's real dirty on there. I cut in a custom made them because I ran out of bolts. I gotta still get the bolts. So we're tighten them up, make sure all the equipment is good. Changing a couple. This is where the um, rim glides on, so you don't want to scratch the wheel. So these are protective when the rim slides, so it doesn't scratch the wheel. So like that um, we tighten up some bolts right here. I'm going to still clean up the machine. It's kind of slow today. The balancer, uh, there is a way to recalibrate it. Um, so we recalibrated it today. I just did that. Um, kind of doing, actually we took off the 20 by 12 uh, 11s for the Mercedes. And we're going to be putting his original wheels on there. Because I guess he gets a real slight rub. Um, I think his stack tires were three let's see how wide this tire is we got the tires here so on that mercedes gts so he put a stack wheels on there so we went with a 335 30 20 and a couple millimeters on that car and it's rubbing on the inside of the wheel well not the outside before it was with the rahanas it was rubbing on the outside so we got it perfect on there why this tires so we're gonna be switching those up and a couple of wheels here check out this wheel here too um, so this came off a Tesla here we're doing um, this is the stock Tesla wheel and this got styrofoam inside here for noise reduction I guess the Tesla it's so quiet that you don't hear anything so this is the recommended tire and check this out um, it actually says electric on there where is it? E-L-T. Where are you? Up okay, on this side. Crowley. And for those people who don't know, this is the DOT number on there. So that's the year, the month that it's made, and uh, uh, the year. So it's 27th month of 2022. Um, so here it is. So this tire actually says electric. <laughs> And it is quite expensive. It's actually more than a 30 inch tire. But if you want, we can get them. Uh, this customer actually had a hard time trying to locate this tire, so we found it for her. We got the BMW inside here, too. Just kind of zooming in and out. Um, we're resetting the battery, my air ride. Uh, my wife got a flat tire, and the air ride wasn't working right, so I'm going to try resetting the computer. Uh, so it thinks it's perfect on there. Maybe it was still thinking that it was on a flat tire. So we're working on that. Um, next on the agenda, we got a couple wheels that we're fixing. This Asante wheel here, we um, we put together. Uh, he messed up the barrel. I think I got the barrel, and uh, I put in a brand new with the bolts. And then um, he's got a new tire. Here's a Rahana wheel, a customer uh, bent this one. I don't see too many Rahana wheels bent, but this one, I, I guess he hit a curb or something. I got this 15 inch tire that I'm actually rimmed that I'm waiting on the tire. Check out this wheel here too. So this is a Moto model wheel. Um, check out how stretched this tire is, 265, 50, 20 on a 20 by 10. Uh, no, 20 by 12, I believe. Yeah, so you can see how this customer thought he's going to be driving and he plugged the tire, but no, no, <laughs> that plug's going to come right out. 
So we're gonna do a new tire on there. Here's CJ's uh, tires for the McLaren. Um, well, he got them and then he, he took them off. He didn't get them in time, so he took them off the uh, the um, Lamborghini wheels. All right. We still got the 32, so I'm trying to, because my machine was kind of wobbling a little too, so I got to get all the machine. So that's what I'm working on today, getting the machine perfect so it's working. Yep. So let me show you a little bit of the machine. So this is where where it grabs the tire. I know you can't see in the video because I'm usually uh, had it on here. And that pulls up the tire over the rim. I'll show you with a thing. All right. So that's our agenda today. Not a lot going on, but we got to get the machines right. So there's a couple other hoses, I think filters that I got to change in the back. Uh, I'm going to clean up the machines. All right. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for all the support. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, to the video. I appreciate it. What up, Crusader gang? We just did this Mercedes. We got the Forgiatos. These were the customer, I forgot what the name of these, uh, another customer, and he bought them from him. Um, his, they're 24 nines and 24 tons in the rear, so you have the deeper concave, but the problem that he ran into here, there's um, the lug nuts stick too far out. So we have to modify the cap. Uh, so let me show you. On here, we had to modify the cap. I had a cut inside there. You don't see it uh, exactly like uh, we did on CJ's uh, Rolls Royce. So the caps fit flush on there. This one we got it perfect. You don't see the inside, so see how flush it was when he pulled up. It was sticking out, so we got him right. He came here. What do you guys think? So this is a mono black. So the difference in the mono black, it's a one piece. So see, there's no rivets, no. Uh, it's all one piece. So that's the difference between a mono black and uh, compared to a multi-piece wheel like we have on this Asante here where you could see the rivets and actually go through it. So you can see the rivets, let me show you the back. This one actually we put all together back, just the front lip, the back lip is still the same. Okay, what do you guys think in the comment section on this Mercedes, I think it's a GLE. Yeah, GLE 450 on the Ford Giotto with the big cap. I'm about to put on the last cap and then get some footage of it rolling out. All right, we just finished the GL. What do you guys think in the comments section? The lights on these things, wicked. Take a picture in the front. You know, it's kind of hard to see out here. Cap is flush, floating on there. 